Brianna. In today's video, I wanted to share with you a meal plan for the Mediterranean diet. And I love the Mediterranean diet because it's truly not a diet. It's more of a lifestyle of eating really healthy, fresh foods, and you can incorporate a wide variety. I never feel like I'm limited by options or choices. So I planned out breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and drinks for an entire week and I just wanted to share everything that is on this meal plan and then I have the grocery shopping list that I made as well so that everything is here for you in one video. If you like these meal planning videos or want to see more Mediterranean diet style videos, click the thumbs up button so that I know you like seeing these on my channel. And if you have any requests, if you want me to walk you through recipes or just do a grocery haul, let me know that in the comments below because between my YouTube channel and my blog, I would love to incorporate more Mediterranean diet lifestyle videos if that interests you because I just feel like it's such a good healthy way to eat and again, I don't feel restricted and just kind of get to eat healthy foods and when you go to parties or on vacation, I can always find options that sort of fit into the Mediterranean diet. So getting started with breakfast, this is my like thing, I love post-it notes and I just figured I would keep these sheets every single week and if there's ever something I wanted to add in as I kind of look at it, cause I like seeing everything laid out, I'm a very visual person. Um, that's why I wrote everything on these post-it notes. But for breakfast, I have oatmeal, Greek yogurt, and I usually top both of those with berries. I have avocado toast and smoothies, which I could incorporate the Greek yogurt and the berries into those smoothies too. So those are the breakfast options that I have for this week. Cause I think another thing I need, which is why I love the Mediterranean diet, is I need a lot of options. I'm not very good at sticking to the same thing over and over again. There's definitely things I like that I gravitate towards, but I like being able, if that morning I don't want my oatmeal, I can have a smoothie instead and it still works and I can just like make sure I have those ingredients then when I go to the grocery store. Um, on to snacks, because I'm a huge snacker. I think ever since I was pregnant with my son, I just pretty much graze throughout the day. I might not necessarily have a lunch, or if I do, you can see here, it's either soup or salad, so it's still something pretty small so that I can have lots of snacks because it just feels better for my metabolism and my energy if I have little high-protein snacks every couple hours, especially when I'm around the house just sort of working all day. So the snack options I have, again, are all very high-protein. So peanut butter, which a lot of times I'll have the peanut butter with either the apples or the bananas that are on here. Almonds, I love getting different flavors of almonds from the grocery store, they just taste so good. Cheese and crackers, and when I say crackers, you have to make sure that you get the whole grain crackers. That's a huge part of the Mediterranean diet is you should have as many fruits and veggies as you can. Lots of lean meats, whether that's lean chicken or lean beef or fish if you like that. I don't eat fish in my diet, but fish is a huge part of the Mediterranean diet. Um, and then lean, not lean, excuse me, but lower fat cheeses. So I love getting really good cheese. Um, I have some dark chocolate that is a part of the Mediterranean diet because it's very rich in antioxidants. Um, carrot sticks, which I like having the carrot sticks with peanut butter sometimes too. So that's kind of how I try to work my snacks is if I need something sweet, at least I'm having it with some fruit and some protein just to help me power through the day. And as far as drinks, I start off every morning with the coffee with almond milk creamer. Uh, I love drinking water with lemon. For some reason, plain water, I just can't do it. But if I have that squeeze of lemon in my water, I will drink it up. I will guzzle it down. I love also making mint lemonade, which I'll get mint leaves. Sometimes I'll add raspberries or strawberries or if I have like any other fresh fruit on hand. But even just the mint with the lemon and just a little bit of sugar and lots of water just helps me get more water throughout the day. Because if, if I don't have something with a little bit of flavor, I honestly never drink enough water that day. So that's just kind of my two tricks to make sure I'm getting enough fluids. I also love getting chocolate milk, whether it is cow's milk or almond milk 
I love having chocolate milk sometimes with fruit or with the nuts just as again more protein and it also really helps hydrate me after I work out so I love drinking chocolate milk and one of my favorite parts of the Mediterranean diet is a glass of red wine is recommended and it's something that I think just with my heritage my poppy so my father's dad he is from Sicily and he would say that as a child he had a large family all of the kids were offered a glass of red wine with dinner every single night and when there was multiple not plagues but like sicknesses in their neighborhood uh, they were the only family that none of the kids in their family would get sick so I do believe that there's something powerful to red wine when it comes to just immunity and keeping you youthful um, for lunch I mentioned soup or salad I usually try to get a high protein veggie like chocked full canned soup um, or I'll do salads whether that's spinach salad that I love sprinkling some feta cheese on and some Usually it's like a seasoned nut just for protein. Um, I love doing that for my lunches, especially in the summertime. I feel like when you want a lot lighter fare as well. Um, and then for dinners, I always put this on the fridge because I feel like Adam likes seeing this on the fridge too to know what the menu is. I think I got this at Target, this little white marble dry erase like day of the week planner. But Sunday, I'm doing a simple Mediterranean chicken. It's a crock pot meal. So it's just nice for Sundays when you want to throw stuff in there and forget about it and then have a really yummy smelling dinner going all day long. Um, then I'm going to do kebabs Monday. We're actually having some family over for dinner that day. Taco bowls on Tuesday. I, for whatever reason, like doing the taco Tuesday thing usually. Um, spinach salads for Wednesday, just because we're going to be having, I think, some like higher protein meals at the start of the week so kind of let Wednesday be a little bit of a reset and uh, Tuesday burgers and again for like the burgers and the taco bowl I'm either going to do turkey so that it's a ground turkey so it's very lean or we get the I think Adam gets the 96% like fat like what is it? Yeah, there's only like 4% fat in the ground beef is what I'm trying to say. So it's a very lean version of ground beef. Um, and then I will get organic chicken breast for the kebabs and for the Mediterranean chicken. Then Friday, this is going to be another meatless day. Um, doing some loaded sweet potatoes. So I love baking sweet potatoes and loading them up with cheese and broccoli and... Um, you could put like honestly some like slivered nuts on there too and then Saturday is going to be a takeout day I usually either have one or two days a week where we do takeout when I meal plan just because I like that option knowing that there's a lot of other things that we have here at home that we'll be eating all week but I'm listing out then everything that is in the grocery list so you can screenshot this and have it for yourself if you want to follow this meal plan for the week but again I just love the Mediterranean diet because I feel like it's full of a variety of foods really good fruits and veggies sorry my dog is probably barking at something outside right now um, but it just never makes me feel like I'm missing out on anything and I think the basic principles of it in case any of these items that I shared in this video aren't your cup of tea is go for as lean of meats as you possibly can eat as many fruits and veggies as you want to of course with any diet it's going to work better if you're having the proper amount of fluids so lots of water um the nice thing about the mediterranean diet though is a glass of red wine coffee tea are totally okay I recently though just because of some anxiety issues that I had made the switch to decaf coffee that's just my personal preference so if I do have a regular coffee I just have one and I'll drink decaf for the second cup or I'll just have two cups of decaf for the day because I used to have two regular cups of coffee um, and then really it is just as whole grains as possible so I didn't have any pasta on the menu this week, but if I ever do make pasta, which I love, I'm Italian, I get the whole grain pasta. Same thing for my crackers and cheese. That is whole grain cheese. The avocado toast, it's whole grain, whole wheat toast. 
So you just want to try to limit any of the white flours and really a lot of sugars, anything that's processed really is not on this diet because you just want to stick to as many things, you know, in the Mediterranean area, there's really not a lot of that like processed sugar, white flour used in that diet. And that's why people in the Mediterranean area, especially, especially certain islands in the Mediterranean Sea, people's lifespan is so much longer than in other countries. It's amazing because they follow this diet of very lean meats and fishes and fresh fruits and veggies and red wine and still like the dark chocolate. There's still things that are decadent and sweet and fulfill maybe that craving that you're having, but it's not something that's overly processed and um, olive oil is the recommended fat. So there really isn't anything in these dishes either where I'm using butter or like heavy animal fats. It's all going to be olive oil used to cook these items. So I will post more of like the recipes for these things on my blog. It's bitsofbreeblog.com. And again, if you want more Mediterranean diet videos, please let me know any of your requests in the comments. But it just really has been something that I think for me and just my anxiety and overall lifestyle that this diet has really, really helped me because that's why it got recommended to me was I went to the doctor for some chest pains and anxiety that I was feeling and he said, before we try any type of medication, I would like you to really think about your diet and the Mediterranean diet is one that can help with a lot of health problems, whether you're having heart problems or anxiety issues or just anything where your diet kind of needs a check. I think it's a great one where you're not limited, but you're eating really healthy things and it just does wonders for your overall health and wellness. So if there's more that you would like, I would love to share more because I just feel like it really has made such a difference in my health and I work out regularly, but I do think it's helped keep my weight at a very healthy place where I'm not counting calories or stressing about what I'm eating. So I couldn't recommend the Mediterranean diet to you more if you're looking for something that's pretty easy to implement with lots of variety and you know keeps you at a healthy weight and keeps your body overall nourished and strong and healthy feeling. But all right, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you go check out the blog because I'll be sure to list the dinner recipes if you're interested. And I'll have, um, again, a screenshot so you can, not a screenshot, but I'll take a shot close up of the grocery shopping list so that you can screenshot that if you would like to on your device and use it for when you go shopping. But thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.